What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video uh, We are back here in the garage and let me see here last uh, last time we did a video on car mechanic simulator We did this Dodge SRT 10. Uh, let me show you guys if You guys didn't see it. It ended up pushing 1100 horsepower on a v10, which is not too shabby Oh wait, what was the price on that? Okay, and now it's worth uh, $430,000, not bad, not bad. Right here we got a 2007, or it's a 2017 uh, Ram Power Wagon 4x4, and it's in pretty good shape because I think we got it at an auction. Um, so the goal of this guy right here is to increase its value, pretty much. We're gonna try and go from $160,000 um, up, and then we're gonna try and have this one compete um, with its off-road capability with the F350 over here that we just finished also because this guy off-roads pretty pretty well I'd say pretty well and it's only worth okay so we probably be able to get those two pretty close in price range um, yeah so here I'm gonna I'm gonna grab something real quick and I'll be right back okay so I've decided we're probably gonna do the motor first is just because there's a lot of stuff to work on this one we try and get over here there we go come on There we go. Looks like that is... What part was that then? That was the engine cover. Alright. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the motor first. It's a 4x4 motor, uh, which is what we need to keep it. And then I think we're also going to do tires in this video just because... Let me see. How big are those? There's not too much room for me to honestly increase this tire size. Dang it. Okay. I was thinking maybe there was going to be... A lot of extra room, but I'm not so sure here. Let me look, let me up make blue. Let me bring this up. All right, let's check the sizing on these. I think I think the Fords were 21s. Let's see here. All right, inventory. These are 19s, really. 295 by 75. Okay. Uh here we're gonna try something real quick here. Uh, we'll separate these right so we need 295 75 19s okay we'll bump them up a little bit we'll do 19 we'll do like a 315 let's we'll see if a 315 will fit and then what's this 75 profile actually no we need to boost up the profile we'll do an 85 there we go. Now let's repair this room real quick. All right. Now let's see if these will fit. So this guy with. Good thing that they all have off-road bees already. All right. So we increased the profile by ten, and we increased the thickness of the tire itself by a little bit. All right. There we go. I went and fixed some settings, but other than that, guys, I got the tire on now. Let's see how it looks. All right, so this one's about 10 bigger. Ooh, okay, that I think is absolutely perfect. Yeah, okay, so that fills in, that fills in like three, four inches on each side. So that'll be, this will be absolutely perfect. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna multiply that. We're just gonna get a couple more. All right, here. Uh, first, let me drop this transfer case off I was gonna say what is the stock horsepower 444 okay so even with a performance horsepower we still weren't able to get up that hill last time on the uh, f450 so I'm not sure if we'll spend the money on the uh, the upgraded stuff for this one guys There we go. And thankfully, this one has all of the parts that we're going to need. So we're not missing anything. All right, we'll pull off these transmission parts real quick. Just the clutch. All right, let's drop this down and pull our engine out. Let me see. Crane, move. Shop A. Nope. What? Oh, rock. oh gosh, hold on. Lifter, right? and then I think, guys, um, oh, this 
looks so good, but I think we're gonna sell it. I could use the money. So 429,000 is what we got back. Not too shabby. Dealer bronze. I have no idea what that means, but nice. All right, we will add this to the stand four by four. And, oh no, put it back. There we go. All right, anything else in here that we can pull out from the engine bay? Radiator, air filter. Hey, at least we don't have to put the air filter clips or any of this other stuff on because it has its own built-in one. All right, let's throw a battery on the tender here. RIT. And now, so let's see. This was 444 horsepower. What is this one with all the performance parts? 780. Okay. So we're only going to hit 780 horsepower max out of this thing, guys. So what I'm thinking is we don't do it. I think we're just going to. I think we're just going to restore this back to normal, back to 100%, and then add on some off road tires. I think that'll, that'll help out. Uh, substantially for what we're going to be doing with this. All right. Time for... Where am I at? There we go. All right. Time for an engine teardown. All right. Let's pull off this front side first. So what I think we're going to do, guys, is we're just going to take this entire thing apart. Um, rebuild it completely. Uh, repair everything we can and then I think we're just going to use the same parts is what I think we're going to do just because uh, we want to raise the value of the of the Dodge but I don't really want to spend too much money there we go and to make matters worse I'm not sure how much better this will be than the other uh, F350 just because the 350 even has like boosted parts and everything and it's still like it still can't handle the inclines very well all right let's see how fast i can do this oh yeah i forgot that there's no uh no screws for that get the spark plugs out of here. Oh, I probably should have taken the timing cover off, actually. Yeah. Okay, I got the other engine head cover off first. Dang it. There we go. Come on. There we go. One of the things I'm thinking about doing, guys, is going through... And I don't know. I was just considering pre-building a bunch of engines. Um, I was just thinking about the other day. I was like, I don't know. I have like two or three engines already with me, and I could probably just straight up rebuild those. Maybe put, for, put performance parts in them, because hypothetically, a lot of shops have just engines chilling around, ready to be plopped into like whatever build they're working on if they need to, uh, like do an engine swap or something like that. So that's what I was thinking. I was like. Maybe I can get a few 4x4s ready to go. Maybe I can get like one or two superchargers uh, or supercharger V8s ready to go. Maybe just a regular and an overhead valve. Um, obviously, for some of the other ones, it's a little bit more difficult because they're a little bit more specialty. And odds are, like, I may not do them. I may, I may do them. I don't know. It was just something I was thinking about. All right, there we go. Once you get the heads off, the engine becomes so much easier. go little pan out of here and this is only at 70 percent so i'm pretty sure we'll be able to save almost everything except for like the one-time use things like oil filters um i think we can even save rod caps so i think we can pretty much save almost everything all right pistons gone piston gone The next one out of here. And the 
last two. Ooh, those ones look perfect. 81%. These things are basically brand new. Oh, we get these bearing caps off. So yeah, guys, for this one, all we're going to do is going to be just the engine. And then we're going to do uh, wheels and tires. And then I wasn't sure if I was going to change the tires or the wheels or not. And they could, I don't know. Mm. Those black ones over here, I think these are the Paganis. Yeah, the Paganis right here. I don't remember exactly what it was, but there's some type of Pagani and they look really good. I mean, I do like the less amount of spokes on the Dodge here, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Not sure yet. All right, here, let's repair all the stuff. There we go. And then guys, one of the reasons I've been taking all of the trucks we've been working on recently and selling them is because I need to get a bunch of money um, for another build we're doing. And it's a super expensive build, so it is a supercar, or I guess supercar, hypercar, whatever you want to call it. So it does fall into that category. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm not sure yet exactly which one, but I have a list of like two or three we could do. Sweet, we were able to save these two. What about pistons? Okay, so we weren't able, we aren't able to save pistons. I didn't know that. I think we'd be able to repair them. It's all right though. We'll just put new ones in. All right, let's see main shop. Pistons. We're gonna buy eight with eight rings. There we go. All right, guys. I'm just gonna I'm gonna burn through this in probably like under two minutes. Probably. I'm just gonna go through and do this entire engine build real quick. Uh, you guys will just see it flash by your eyes. Give me a second. All right, guys, so we are very close to finishing. Let's see here. Wheel, clutch, I need this one, and then boom. All right, so we are popping on the last parts for our motor here. Yeah, it took me less than, uh, about less than five minutes to do that, which is not too bad at all, I must say so myself. And bearing. All right, there we go. I think this thing is ready to be plopped back in the engine. Uh, let me go grab the battery over here. There we go. Then we're going to move over our detailing kit to lift A. We just want to hit this up real quick. Give her a quick vacuuming and scrub down. All right, how's it looking now? All right, good. Let's get this over. Just trying to remember okay so i think i think this engine is completely completely done and ready to go install four by four check oh what were the other things we got to put on here was it okay it was only the four by four all right well then i am happy radiator brake battery Ooh, we need a new air filter all right we can grab a new one air filter check Alrighty, there we go. And now the engine bay is completely done. All we gotta do is strap on that last, uh, let me close that. Strap on that last little, uh, what is that? Gearbox? Yeah, gearbox. 
Uh, actually, we'll, we'll wait on the gearbox because I need to take a look at the suspension. I mean, because some of the leaf springs are, yeah, high 60s, low 70s. Yeah, because we might, we might take a look back through those. All right. Um, so on the wheel aspects, though. Let me screw this on, see what it looked like. Okay, yeah, it was good. It was really good. Um, I need to see... I don't remember what the exact ratio was. I think it's... Let's see here. 315.85. Alright. By 19. 19 inch. That's what they are. Remember that. So we gotta do off-road. Three more. We're gonna do 19 inch. And we're gonna do... 315... By 85. 315 by 85. I think that's what it was. I hope I did the right one. Okay, we did. Oof. Let me change up the radio station quick here. We're going to go to... Uh... Oh, we'll do, we'll do rock. Yeah, that's what we usually had it on. It was always on rock. All right. Uh, let's rip off the rest of these wheels. Hopefully we can salvage the rest of these and we don't have any issues with them. And then the front ones. Can I get the front ones from here? Oh, I can't. Okay. Ooh. Pop these bad boys out. And then we'll make sure we're not separating the wrong one. <laughs> Alright, we'll separate those. And while we're waiting real quick, I'm going to mount this guy back up here. We'll end up taking them off again just for me to do like brakes and suspension a little bit, but yeah, see that rotor is getting pretty bad, but we'll just uninstall the rest. Uh, but I do want to paint this and the color I was thinking of painting this guys was going to be kind of like a blaze orange because when I think of Dodge uh, like Rams, that's the color that comes to mind for me. And that's probably my most favorite color possible to put on a ram here. Alright, thank you. And then I gotta repair one last one, hopefully. Yep. Alright. And I don't know if I showed you guys this recently, but this is the test path in here. That tests uh, uh, braking and suspension systems. Yes. And then you will balance this for me. Thank you. We're getting pretty close here. Pretty close to being done. We'll just drop this guy down. Ooh, that wheel's really close to touching. Yes. Okay. So, we got, what was this? Two tires left. Thank you. Throw this big boy on there so I was thinking about changing these rooms to black but uh, I don't know we're gonna see how they look with the orange and then I'll decide and then we'll get the last one on here I think mm, I don't know I think with orange the silver will look fine but with black the orange will just kind of get washed away and just pushed in that was the last one over here All right, there we go. Let me move this engine hoist back to its spot. How are we looking now? Okay. 71, 88, 85, 100. We've raised the value of a few, I think a, a few 10,000. I don't know exactly, but we did do a lot of parts that helped uh, boost that global parts condition all the way up. Uh, the next thing for us would probably be body. The body's in decent shape. I think it's what, 75, 80. No, not that. What, what am I doing? We need to get the welder over here. All right, we're going to weld the body back, and it won't really change that much just because a lot of this is the cosmetic parts of the doors. Ah, come on, let me do it. All right, see, that really didn't change too much other than the front fenders here. The front facade is looking a lot better, and... 
the cab is looking a little bit better. But other than that, let's see what we got now. 164. So that didn't really raise the price at all, actually. But we do have frame, interior 100, glow parts 88, which is really close. Um, once we go back through and redo the body, though, the body will just end up looking absolutely mint. So in the next episode, guys, we're going to be testing this truck out. We're going to be doing the body. We're going to be changing out a few of the suspension components, just the ones that are really bad. Like probably 70 or lower will probably change out. But uh, other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, oh, wait here. Right before we do anything, let's do this. There we go. I can't forget the oil because I know if I split these videos, sometimes I will forget to do the oil. There we go. All right. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this so far, if you guys are excited for the next video, I'm really excited to paint and do the body on this mainly because I think the Ram 2500, the front face on it, the front facade is probably one of my most favorite fronts out of any truck. It would probably be... I don't know. It's probably this one, then the Duramax, then the 250 is probably my favorite ones. Yeah, so I'm really, really excited for this one. I hope you guys are too. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like down below. Leave a comment if you guys got anything you want to say. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. We are getting closer and closer by the day to 100,000 subscribers, which is going to be absolutely wild. And I am so excited. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.